I want to start by saying, neither of us are really bad guys. See, my brother Conroy, much like myself, lost his daddy when he was just a little boy. See, one day our old man said he was going out for a pack of cigarettes. And he got himself lost. Which is weird because there's tons of places that sell those things. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, we were doing quite promiscuously for ourselves, despite that. We grew up to get ourselves an apartment. <laughs> More freaking buried than two of them dudes could ever eat by themselves. Cable TV. And we paid for it all. Fair and square. With the fat money we made working as janitors from the middle school. Conroy even started dating one of the lunch ladies. We got free chicken nuggets and tater tots all the time. Things were sweet, smooth sailing, all the way. That is until Conroy went and got his main squeeze all pregnant, if you catch my drift. This was gonna fuck up both of our lives, big time. No more Jenkins Brothers apartment, no more cable TV. Oh, no more Frankenberry. Now Conroy's always been real smart. The dude's been looking out for me since the day I was born and he devised the most ingenious plan to fix everything. Turns out he actually got the idea from our old man. I never knew it before, but Dad wasn't just going out for cigarettes all those years ago. He was also escaping the burdens of fatherhood in the craftiest and most original way. So all that time I figured out Pop was an idiot. who didn't know how to read a map. And as fit would have it, he was in fact a bona fide genius. But in order to start our new lives in a different town, uh, we were going to need money. I'm talking a lot of paper. You know what I mean? I suggested we save up and wait until the kid was born, then take off. But Conroy didn't want to risk seeing the thing and getting emotionally attached. Which made perfect sense. So he said to me, Freelo, he said, we're going to rob a bank. Which made sense, because those places are full of money. He had it all planned out. He would go with a spray-painted water gun, because a real gun was simply out of our price range. And I'd wait in the car. Then he'd run out, hop in, and I'd take off. It was the perfect plan, completely flawless. But fate wasn't on our side today. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Conroy went in. He ran out with a pillowcase full of money. And he... And we drove away. But suddenly, I heard the sirens behind us. And wouldn't you know it, the pigs were all on our asses. Sorry. I mean police. So I decided the only thing to do was drive as fast and as reckless as possible. And I'm not talking Gran Turismo driving, I'm talking crazy taxi driving. I was all and And you guys were all like screech trying to keep up, and all the while, that brother of mine was screaming like crazy. He looked like a cartoon character with his eyes popping out, grabbing his chest and all. Yeah. Then he was all quiet, not moving at all, and I figured he was all tuckered out after the excitement. And after a minute, I didn't notice anyone else following us. So I decided to pull through Cluckin' Hut and grab us some wings and maybe a couple of mocha malts. Those always help Conroy feel better. After we got the food, I tried to wake him up, but he wouldn't open his eyes. Then I realized he wasn't breathing. I knew he wouldn't like me doing this, on account of us not having health insurance. But I called 911. And you know the rest. He got put in an ambulance. I got hauled off here. 
and I'm still waiting to use my one phone call until he wakes up. And that's everything. So anyways, what is it you needed to tell me?